Hi everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, producer, and composer. Welcome to this What's New in Cubase 12 course, where I'll take you through all of the top new features in Cubase 12, including new MIDI features like MIDI remote integration and audio to MIDI chords, new audio and editing features like streamlined editing shortcuts, scale assistant in very audio, and audio warp improvements, three new VSTs, Razor, which is a mastering limiter with ultra-fast attack times, Effects Modulator, a multi-effect modulation plugin for creating movement, ducking, and rhythmic effects, and Verve, a new felt piano instrument. And there are several other under-the-hood performance improvements, including support for Apple Silicon. If you're not aware, Cubase has three versions at three different price points, and not all of these updates pertain to every version of Cubase. So I'll mention at the beginning of each video which versions of Cubase apply for a particular update. One huge new update to version 12 that is applicable to Cubase Pro, Artist, and Elements is that you no longer need a USB E licensor dongle to use and activate Cubase. All you have to do after installing Cubase is open the Steinberg Activation Manager, and here you just click Activate. This may prompt you to log into your account on the Cubase website, and you're done. Now I can just simply open Cubase just as I normally would. And now Cubase is open and I'm ready to go. I think this is a massive step forward because previously I considered Cubase's activation and installation process one of the worst of all of the major DAWs, especially for beginners. But now it's super streamlined and very easy. Up next, I'll show you two major MIDI updates, starting with MIDI remote integration.